See, this area is full of tool stone, like stones that have been worked by humans to make knives and arrowheads. But see, a hunter was here hundreds of years ago, camped out working on his equipment. Same way you might sit around camp sharpening your knife, but when these guys sharpen knives, it produces waste rock. You can see this got a lot of markings from humans making things. A lot of it you just look at it and you think it's just little flakes, little pebbles, but there's a, these stones, like flint-like stones, break in a way, they call them conchoidal fractures. Because it'll, it'll fracture along planes. Like this rock doesn't crush so much as it, as it blows off in, in like flake shards. And that's, a, that's just from a blow right there, that's from a strike. It's very subtle. I learned a lot about this stuff hanging out with anthropologists. And I would always take them up and be like, is that a stone? Is that a tool stone? Oh yeah, that's a blow. Right here, look at this. A lot of times guys will find like big honkers like this, you know, and they'll call them arrowheads, but that would be like a spear point or an atlatl point. But this is considered to be a, a bone arrow point. It's a very light little head. This is a gorgeous find. Here's a big blade that's sharpened all the way around. You see how you have a dull face here for your hand? You can just picture the guy using this. Hold it just like this, and then you got that knife edge. They'll call that a by face. Just mean it's been, it's had flakes removed on both sides. You could bust the pelvis on an animal with that right now, or scrape hide. When people really started putting together the history of human habitations and, and arrowhead styles and tool styles was around the time of the Dust Bowl. It's on the Great Plains and areas. All the topsoil blew away and unearthed all these things that had been laying, you know, under the under organic matter. And that was kind of the, the beginning of our understanding of how deep antiquity, like how deep human history ran on this continent. For a long time, people would say that humans have only been on Earth, you know, a couple thousand years. But then here's people turning up the arrowhead stuck in the neck of a, a mammoth skeleton. And that forced people to reckon with the idea that human beings have been running around here for a very long time. Holy cow, look at this. I mean, that's an artifact. It's a man-made tool. It's just a mortar and pestle. I've got three of them on my window sill in my kitchen. Just grinding, grinding, grinding in there. So there was like a significant amount of human activity up here. You can imagine if I sat you down and told you you couldn't leave until you ground out a hole like that, you'd be here a long time. That's not the kind of artifact you're gonna pick up and take home with you either. Plus you got a backhoe.